Oh, there are Mark Matt Spielberg and the boys. Uh, we have another model from uh, FO, Fun Hole, uh, that they've sent us. And um, we're looking forward to this one. Now, if you watch the last one we did, which was the Steampunk Ore Train, it was beautiful. The way it lights up, it was absolutely stunning. It, it, it surpassed what we were expecting. And I did mention uh, there was a train station that went with it. Well, uh, they have sent us this enormous train station and we're going to crack this one open and we're going to build and we're going to review it for you uh, for full clarity i didn't pay for this this has been sent to me by fo to review um and i can't wait i really can't because the the ore train is is beautiful it really is it surpassed our expectations um we we went into it with an open mind and wow it was really nice um we're going to crack this one open. We're going to show you what you get with it. This is the biggest one we've done from them so far. This is 1,843 pieces, which is big. This is going to take a long time to build. But we're going to go through it. We're going to go through, as we've done before, the bag stages. Once we've hit, you know, we've completed stage one, we'll take a look at it and see where we are, see if there's any issues with it. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this. I think this is going to look magnificent. So let's crack it open. Let's see what you get in the box. Before we even begin, I mean, just this packaging is beautiful. This is a nice glossy box. The artwork on this is absolutely stunning. Now you can see over here, this was an early precursor to, this is available as well. There is a steampunk airship, but we'll uh, we'll go into that in a bit. But this is, this is gorgeous. The packaging is absolutely lovely. Um, as always, let's get this one open and let's have a look what's inside. Wow, I mean, this is a full box, so there's no empty space in here. But this is way, way, way. But you can see, I mean, it's very sleek, very gorgeous black packaging. Um, that is an absolutely enormous instruction manual. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What I do like about these instruction manuals as well is you can see these outlines in red. So when you're making these, it tells you exactly where these go. It highlights. Now, the other major brand doesn't do that. Um, which this has been an enormous help. It means you don't miss pieces. You can see here we've got outlined in red exactly what's going on there. There's no guesswork involved. It's um it's very nice. But this is a full box, so they really have utilized the packaging here. There is no empty space. This is literally jam-packed. Wow, there's so many bags in here. These are gonna be our lighting kits inside here. This is wow, wow, wow. This is like some the foot of Everest. <laughs> This is a lot to do. So we're going to get all the bag ones out. We'll take a look at those and then we'll uh, we'll start our build. So here are lighting kits for stage one. Now there are a lot of lighting kit with this one. Um, but you can see they mark, they mark the bags. You know exactly which ones you need. And each one of these is protected individually because we have very different types of lights. You can see this is a circular disc. Uh, or is this one over here? It's a more traditional LED strip. It's very clever. Again, so rather than just give you a bunch of wires, you don't really know what's going where. You know exactly which lighting kits you need to use and, and where. Now we're going to dig out the brick bags of stage one and take a look at those. So here are our bags for stage one. We've got three bags there. There's something I'd like to show you as well, which is inside the instruction book. I think we've gone over before. This is the uh, the color list. Now, for those of you that built one of these before from uh, other brands, you can see sometimes this gets confusing. Okay, so it's so. Which colour in the illustration is which colour brick? Because we have different types of browns and greys here. But what they've done is we have a photo of the actual brick colour and then how it's represented in the print. That's genius. The amount of times uh, me and the kid have been building one that has similar colours and use the wrong colour because grey is portrayed as black or silver is portrayed as, as white. Whereas this shows you exactly this is the brick. So we can see against the printed colour. That is very, very, very smart and very innovative as well. Um, and that's going to help massively. It's smart. This is clever. And this is this is kind of why I like this company. We are seeing a lot of very clever ideas out of them. And that, it's simple, but it's effective. And that's 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 really good. Really good. If you, As I said, if you've built a large model from, from any other brick brand, you'll know what I'm talking about. That when it comes to this, sometimes you think, well, which one? Because you've got bricks that are very similar. But this shows you exactly, this is what the actual brick looks like. This is what it looks like in the print. That is very, very, very smart. Let's crack on the build. So here we have stage one complete. And that was nice and simple. Good kind of ease into it rather than go huge straight away. But we've built a very solid base. Um, and it's already, you can already see kind of the steampunk aesthetic of this one with these grills here. It's looking nice. But this is a really solid base. It's a clever construction where we use a lot of Technic pins that kind of hold this together. 
Now this is going to be the base for there is a working elevator inside here. This is going to be the base. We're going to be building up from here uh, in stage two. We're going to be adding this part as well to here from stage one. Um, but this will be the base for our elevator. And um, I'm looking forward to this. So we're going to use our first light kit in stage two as well. So get the bags up to stage two. We'll see how many bags there are. So we have one, two, three, four, five bags for stage two, plus what we built in stage one. Now, by the end of this, uh, there's, there's, lots, there's a lot of smaller elements inside this one, as you can see. So by the end of this one, we will have our first construction where we will have the working elevator. I'm very much looking forward to seeing that. Uh, but we're going to start using gears and some Technic pins, but let's crack on, let's take a look. Section two complete, and um, wow, it's really, Steampunk elements are really now starting to come to life. These are going to light up these flames here because we put our first light kit in. So what we've just built is a service elevator. Um, and it does um, it does work. So uh, trying to do this one-handed. You can see our elevator's going up. Well, this is a bit more secure, but this is a lot easier. <laughs> but it's um, it works. It's a nice little mechanism. It's a clever mechanism. Um, our elevator goes up. We've got some lovely decals on here. Now, the decals that we use... Um, are not stickers. They are almost like um, water decals, but minus the water. She so place them on, peel them off. They're then like printed bricks rather than stickers, which is fantastic. This was a really clever build. This elevator is a really clever build. So it's got almost like an Archimedes screw that runs through it. Um, all the gears and whatnot, it's looking great. So um, we're back to section three. Section three is going to build the level this goes up to. So let's get the bags together, see how many bags are off for uh, section three. So for section three, we have four bags and the remainder of light kit one, and this will build all of this. I think this section will be pretty much complete by the time we finish section three. Let's crack it open. Let's get it done. We'll check in, have a look. We have bag four complete, well, stage four complete, and more transformation already. I mean, you can see we've got the upper floor in there. Look at these signs. These signs are great. That's the beer one there. The diamond time there. It's, it's looking gorgeous. It really is. Then we go up to the top here. You can see, so our lighting kit is running through here, all the way through. Uh, we've got this little bench down here. Got a lost ticket there. Little newspaper. The detail in this is gorgeous, but I mean, this is where our um, our service elevator is going to... I can't do it one-handed. We'll have a look at it properly at the end. But our service elevator comes all the way up to here. It's, um, it's looking lovely, it really is. But let's move on to stage five. A little ahead of myself with stage five. Stage four, this is a lot. So it looks like we're building a lot of base for stage four. Um, this is more than we've done up to this point. Um, so this is, this is gonna be big when we're done. Let's get it built and we'll take a look. Let's bag four while well, stage four complete. And wow, a uh, whole nother platform. Um, it's its own, uh, it's its own build. We've got this very nice uh, tank over here. These lovely little benches, a few more valves and uh, you can never have enough valves and gears in steampunk. We go around the back. These very nice steam valves coming off here, more gears. Um, what we're going to be doing in bag five is we are building up from this. We're going up even higher. And um, we're going to make the rail where the uh, the independent uh, like cable car goes. That should be fun. Um, so we get all the bags bag five. Look how much we've got to build. And then time to move on. For section five, we are using three bags and bag two lighting kits, both of those. And these three bags here. Let's get into it. Here is stage five complete, and this thing is really growing. It's got a very unique um, roof, I suppose you'd call it. Um, it's great. You can see the wires work on this one, so you sort of it tells you exactly where to put them. We've got the traffic lights and the hazard lights here appearing. Uh, the wires all flow through the edge, so these are all going to cover up, so you're not going to see them. We have got more lighting underneath here as well. This thing's going to look amazing when it lights up. Uh, we've got this very nice waiting area up here. Um, it's going to look great. It's going to look really, really good. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing this lit. Let's, uh, let's move on to stage six. Okay, so for stage six, we need one, two, three, four, five bags, and we need two of the lighting kits, mark number three. Let's, uh, let's get this done, and we'll take a look. We should be building a large building that's going to attach to the, uh, the side of this uh, platform here. So here is bag number, well, stage number six uh, complete. So we built this building that attaches to over here. Now you can see here this Tesla coil going on. We've got a lot of light in here as well. Look at this little wrap with the cheese. How cool is that? It's lovely. Now we are going to build a clock tower to sit on top of there in stage seven. So let's get that open. Let's get that built. This is bag number seven done. And uh, wow, you can see how high up we're going now. Uh, this beautiful clock tower has been built. We've got a Steam Central sign there. 
Um, it's all coming together. Look at these. These are amazing. This is such a clever build. So it looks like we've got a pole that goes all the way through. We, we really don't. Um, it's so clever. It's so clever. I'm, I'm honestly blown away by this. I'm so impressed with, if I can move this sign, so we can see, move that sign up. And there you see these windows that are in there now. This is stunning. Stunning. Um, and we've still got a lot more detailing to go. So we do a lot more detailing on here in bag eight. Then bag nine will be complete. So uh, let's get those open. Let's get this built. So stage eight is now complete. You can see we've now installed this overhead rail here, uh, which is holding this uh, cable car. How cool is that? I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. But it's um, it's stunning. Now this has its own independent light source in there. So all of these lights light up. We will show that at the end. Um, but this thing's ridiculously looking good now. This is, uh, I'm very impressed. We have one last bag to go, bag nine, which is going to build the tracks and then we're going to pull it all together and we will take a look. And there we are, finally complete. And wow, 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 this thing is absolutely stunning. I mean, you can see here we connect, we've got the track that runs through the middle. There's our clock tower section over there. We've got our uh, tram, our overhead tram running there. It all links up beautifully. Now there are two ways to build this. So at the moment I've built this in this kind of three dimensional version. You can take this and put it to the other side and make one long um, station. So this will attach to the other side. If you flip this around, it attaches. Um, but I do want to keep it like this. This is this is kind of how I like it. I um I like the dual platforms. So I'm going to move it slightly so you can get a better angle of this. So you can see as we look down there, this thing is absolutely stunning. Now I know what you're thinking. Does it light up? Of course it lights up. So let's light it up and take a look. And this is where these models really come to life. Look at the lights on this thing, man. It's beautiful. You can see the flames coming out there. You can see the heat of the kind of steampunk engines happening here. Uh, we go up to a cloud element up here where you can see lights up, creating beautiful kind of underlighting on that one. It just looks stunning. Underneath the track lights, uh, we have our lights on our Tesla coil over here. We have our traffic lights, stop light for the train, our trams all lit up. It just looks, it just looks amazing. I mean, you can see through to the waiting room that this thing is insanely good. It's beautiful. Look at that, look at this glow. It just looks amazing. It just looks absolutely amazing. It looks incredible. Now, the only thing that makes this really pop is if we look down here, we can see Steam Central to Ore Exchange. Well, we have the Ore train, so it only makes sense we have the train to this and really see what it looks like. Simply amazing. It just looks beautiful. This is with the train. You can see the train there, with the train lights in all of its glory, with the illuminated track underneath. We can go through, we can see our ore glowing in the back. It's just, it's just stunning. It's just absolutely, look at this. It's just amazing. This is a beautiful thing. You can see our train there runs on our tracks. It just, it just looks amazing. It just looks absolutely amazing. And this is going to be getting pride of place in my build room in its full glory. It just, the amount of light, the detail, everything kicking off of this is just beautiful. It really is. Let's kill the lights completely and see what it looks like. So this is now in total darkness. All lights are out in this room. And you can see just how much light this is kicking off. Um, it's just stunning. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm so impressed with this. And again, Fun Hall have just knocked it out of the park. They really have because, I mean, my expectations were high for this one based on the first two that we've built. So we built the farm truck, which was great. Um, and then when we built the train, I was blown away. But the station is just another level. This is insanely good. I mean, you can see our little um, our little elevator here. If I run that one, you can see a nice smooth action of the elevator going up and down. It's beautiful. It's it's ten out of ten. Again, this is they've absolutely nailed it. Look at this little tram here, and this is I mean, this is light in the entire room. Believe it or not, this is actually this is so impressive. I'm uh. I'm so happy with this. This is going to look amazing on the shelf behind me. This is going to look incredible. And uh, I can't wait to display it. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful. 
Let's have a chat. So that's the steampunk train station from Fun Hole Complete, and I'm blown away by it. I'm looking, you can see the lights in my glasses. I'm blown away by it. I think it's absolutely incredible. I really do. The uh, the build was a joy. It was a lot of fun to build. It really was fun to build, which is is a massive part of this. I mean, you know full well the finished piece is, is only part of this. The build is the build fun. Yes, it is. Um, I would say. It took me about 10 hours uh, in total, but that's with breaks and whatnot. I didn't I didn't just burn straight through. You could probably do this in, I reckon, six and a half to eight, to eight hours. Um, but with, with breaks, it took me about 10 hours. But it's beautiful. The wiring is very simple to do. There's nothing complicated about it. Um, it just looks amazing. It looks amazing. And the, um, the way it's been broken down into the sections works perfectly. I do have critiques. Um, the tram has its own light has its own power source so the tram is not um illuminated by the two main battery packs it's got its own power source that uses um button saw batteries the problem with that is is there's no easy way of turning the tram on and off you have to take the tram off you have to remove the top take the thing out turn it on but that's a lot of fuss for this and looking at it with a longer wire i'm fairly sure it could have it it could have attached to a battery pack so it's a minor thing. I mean, for display purposes, it's it's good, but that's a minor thing. Um, the beauty of this as well is you don't have to use batteries. You don't have to use um, double A's. This uses this is until six double A's. You don't have to use six double A's. What you can do is you can use power banks because these have got USB connectors. You can use power banks to power this, or you can mains power it as long as you've got a currency converter, a voltage converter. You can you can do that. Um, but this is absolutely amazing. And then with the addition of the train, it's another level. It, it just is absolutely stunning. Um, another critique of it is there are no minifigs with it. Now, I don't have minifigs with it, but if you were to purchase one, you would get minifigs because this was actually created before Funhole started doing minifigs. But with all the sets they do now, you get them. So you will get a pack of four steampunks to go with this if you buy this from um, from FO Direct. Um and they're very cute. They're very cute little figures. So that is a critique of mine. I mean, I didn't get minifigs with it, but you will if you buy one. Um, the tram is... It's annoying because I think what's inevitably going to end up happening with me is when I have this displayed and I can turn it all on, I doubt I'll be turning the tram off and on because of the fuss involved in it. That's going to show it off. But this is going to go on my shelf and I'm going to have this powered through the mains so I can just flick it on and it, it can be on because it does light an entire room. Um... Other critiques, very few, very, very, very few. I mean, there are some areas where the wires could have been hidden better. Um, there are two battery packs as well. It would have been nice if all of this could have run off one battery pack would have been good, but it needs two battery packs. I mean, I understand because it's essentially two builds, it's two halves. Um, but beyond that, I mean, I'm, I'm hard pushed to find anything um, at fault with it because it just... It's stunning. It, it genuinely is. This is stunning. This is this is something I'd be proud to show off. It's an absolutely beautiful model. Um, now again, uh, I was sent this by FO. I didn't I didn't buy this, but I'd buy it. I genuinely would buy it because I think it's it's absolutely stunning. Now you can get this on Amazon. Uh, it's currently one hundred and fifty four ninety nine on Amazon, which I know sounds a lot, but trust me, if this was from the big brand, if this was from Lego, a two thousand piece set with lighting kit you'd be looking at closer to 250 you would that's that's just the way it is um so this is this is very good value for money it really is um the train is also available through amazon as you get the train for 79.99 now again there is money off vouchers on amazon so you can get i think as you can get 15 pounds off the train bringing the train down to about 55 quid and you can get 15 pounds off of the train station within train station down to about 139.99 or you can buy it direct from fo so i'll put the link down below you can go to fo's website it will cost you less buying it through fo's website than it would through amazon but keep an eye on both and see which one works for you so all the links down below if you're still not convinced by what i've got to say about how good this company is because they are now i'm not being i've not been paid uh by them i've not been told to say anything they have been very uh very nice to collaborate with the simple reason they just said make a video see what you want um we'll we'll send you one for a view tell us what you think of it and they genuinely do take on board what you have to say um they genuinely care what the customer thinks um so a critique for mine of this and i'm i know that i know they're going to see this is 
there's a lot of plastic bags. It would be nice to see some of this single-use plastic bag be replaced with paper bags um, because it, it's it's one single-use plastic packaging. It would be nice to see paper bags instead. Now, I know just by saying that, they're genuinely looking into the viability of that, and that is what a, a joy of a company are to deal with. One of the, uh, the critiques they got early on was that there was no minifigs, so they made minifigs. Um, there's, there's, they address everything, and I think that's amazing because there are other companies that don't care. They put the product out, they don't care. Whereas when there's critiques to their product, they're like, okay, well, then we'll work on that. And they genuinely care. So when they're going to launch a new set, they put it out to, to everyone. They say, okay, what do you think of this? And they listen to your feedback. If you say, I prefer it in this color, or it would be better if it did this, or I prefer this one, they listen. And that's an amazing thing. That's a great company to um, to, to support, it is. Now they have 16 uh, models that you can get at the moment. We built three of them. I'd happily <laughs> build the other 13 because they've been such a joy, but they have got more coming. So if you still don't trust what I'm saying and you're thinking it's a lot of money for me to lay out, well, there is currently a Kickstarter running. Now again, they haven't asked me to mention the Kickstarter, but I'm gonna mention it anyway because I've backed the Kickstarter myself. I have paid my money, they're not giving me anything. Um, to, to support the Kickstarter because I like it. So there is a little steampunk car, which you'll be able to get through the UK, you're about to pack it and it costs you about 14 pounds. If you're in the USA, I think it'll cost you about $20, which is nothing. So for an introduction to um, to the brand, you can get this little steampunk car through, uh, little steampunk car through Kickstarter, all lights up as every single one of their sets do because they believe that uh, beauty should be in the day and the night, which is why every set they do, lights up the light day and night but this is the steampunk car and you can get on kickstarter i'll put the link down below beautiful and you can get that well, like i said for the uk if you back the kickstarter you can get up for 14 pounds which is nothing i mean you can't honestly you don't get a lot of big brand lego for your money for 14 quid you really don't so the fact that you're getting a little car complete with light kit look great on your desk um, and again, you can power it through. Um, you can power it through a laptop because I've done it. You can power some of these models through laptops. I, I plug the farm uh, the farm um, truck into a laptop and power the lights through my laptop. So that little car, I might get two, and I might, I might have one at work because I'd like it on my desk. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely like this. I really do. I think they're a great company, and I think they're an exciting company to be part of early doors because I can genuinely see one day the early sets being very sought after by the people that got in on the ground floor because if they carry on producing sets like this they are going to become very big because people are starting to cotton on to this now and these look absolutely incredible now i did say there were 16 models with that um steampunk car that'll take us to model 17 but there is an, an 18th model if you will that's going to be released very soon i'm not i can't tell you what it is but we will have it on the channel so we are getting some early access to one of the um the fo models which you'll build on the channel that will be coming up very soon it's in transit at the moment and when we've got it we will show you what it is but i'm looking forward to that one as well because based on what i've done so far the future is very bright if you'll forgive the pun for the company and um amazing all the links down below. They've also got a Facebook page. So if you'd like to go and be part of the community over there and meet up with other people that are building these and see some of the amazing mods they've done because the steampunk stuff particularly, there is a steampunk airship as well, um, which looks incredible. And some people have done some very clever mods with that to make it look like it's in clouds. Looks amazing. And there is, uh, this year, going to be released a another steampunk set, a large steampunk set, which is like a, uh, almost like a steampunk shopping mall. Looks amazing. They've also, they're toying at the moment. They've been teasing us that they've got a Wild West theme coming out. And I've seen a saloon. I've seen a sheriff's office. Amazing stuff. Really good. But the steampunk, beautiful. I can't recommend this enough. I really can't. I'm just fawning over it now because I'm blown away by it. So big thank you for FO for sending this to us for full clarity as well. I've not been asked to say anything. I could have, if I wanted to, if I didn't like it, I'd have told you I don't like it. But you've seen for yourself. This looks... This looks incredible, it just does. And it will take pride of place on the shelf behind me. That is where this is going to live. Um, that's all from me. I will be back very soon for more from Bill and the Boys. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. And we will have, as I said, probably at the end of this month, we will have another model from FO for you to see. And I'm really looking forward to that one. I can't wait for you to see it. Um, you can contact us at buildingtheboysoutlook.com. All the links to everything I've discussed are down below. Any questions, we're happy to ask them. 
Uh, until then, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice, and I will see you very, very soon for more from Milton and the Boys. Take care.